Let's get it. Praise the most high. It is another gorgeous day here in the Carolinas. And I'm so glad to see it. Praise the most high. Like I said, it's a gorgeous day here in the Carolinas. Another mild day. Praise the most high. Brilliant. We do have a great idea. I always like to say, I hope everyone is well and are able to get out and enjoy this beautiful day. And hopefully you have some nice weather in your neck of the woods. Hopefully it's nice and mild like it is here and that you can get out and enjoy the day with the most high as we are. really lengthy idea for today is somewhat short but it's um a great word of encouragement and it is your keeper your keeper hallelujah and this is coming out of Psalms 121 verse 5. The Most High is your keeper. The Most High is your shade upon your right hand. And we read over this script before at the beginning of the week or last week. And wouldn't you know it, this script came right on back up in my app gives me a verse for today. And from time to time, I will use that verse for, to, for today if the Most High speaks to me through. But a lot of times, he just gives me an idea and then gives me a verse from that idea. But keeper means one who manages or looks after something or someone. One who manages or looks after some something or someone. And the reason I read the, the title or the idea the way I did, Your Keeper, is because the Most High is not everybody's keeper. But those of us that know He is our keeper, we know He's our keeper. Or should I say those of us that know we know that he's our keeper. And what that means is we have history with him. Mm. And I've been saying that of late, which to be honest, the Most High had um, given me that idea a while back, that me and him have history. And what that means is we have an acquaintance. <laughs> oh boy, thank you Most High. We have a rapport. Mm. Praise the Most High. And it's nothing like it. That means when I talk to him, he talks back. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Hallelujah. You stirring me up. Stirring me up on the inside right now. Mm. Praise the Most High. That means we have a going back and forth all the time. We have conversation all the time. And he lets me know, everything will be all right, Robert. Don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. I got you. Hallelujah. I got you. I'm here for you. I never leave you or forsake you. Mm -mm -mm. Praise the Most High. See, I love him. I love him because he keeps me. See, just like today, we, we received a little bad news. But he reminded me all things work together for you good, Bob or Robert. 
All things work together for your good. Don't sweat it. I got you. I got you. I'm in control of this. When I open the door, it's open. No man can shut it. And when I close the door, no man can reopen it. Hallelujah. But I love this meaning. It says, one who manages... Let me get back. One who manages or looks after something or someone or something. Something or someone looks after. What a great meaning. And I remember when I used to manage at AutoZone, I was assistant store manager for them. I think like eight years, I used to work, I think I worked for them like 12 years. So I think like eight years I was a store manager. And that was a tough job. And I was thinking about that today when I was working, doing a job today. And I said to myself, well, I said to, to Abba, I said, Father, I'm so glad I don't have to worry about working for nobody else, supervising my work, seeing if it's okay after I get it done or while I'm working. And I was thinking back to AutoZone, and that was my job. I had to critique our workers' jobs, their efforts, how they was doing if they was doing it right. If they was treating our customers right. If they was offering them the, the best or the most beneficial part for their vehicle. And as I think about that now, that's how the Most High is with us. He offers us what's beneficial for us every single day. And he said, choose life. And it's up to us to let him be our keeper. Mm. It's up to us to say, Abba, good morning. It's a beautiful day. You made it. I want to enjoy it with you because you made me, made this day with me in mind. You made this day for me and you. And if you hadn't, you wouldn't have let me see it because you don't waste anything. Now I ask you to walk with me today, talk with me, lead me into all truth, guide me, go before me, make the crooked places straight as you said you would. And I just thank you for this day because I'm going to enjoy it with you. And then you set on out listening to his rule because he's going to lead you into all truth. Once you give him the place in your life, he's gonna show up. And not only show up, but show out on your behalf. So that's my encouraging word for today. Let the Most High be your keeper. And the whole verse is good, Psalms 121, but that one really stuck out. And like I said, it was a, a repeat from us going over Psalms 121, I believe last week. But this script came up in my app as the script of the day a few days ago. Over the, um, the weekend. And what he's been doing, or what he will do from time to time, he'll give me a few thoughts over the weekend so I can not only parlay over them, over them and have them within my spirit, but also to study and then come and present them periodically, whichever day you tell me to present them during the week. But let the Most High be your um, keeper. He wants to be. You are very special to him. Just as we was telling Alvin on yesterday, the young fellow we met here at the park, you are very special to the Most High. And he loves you very much. So be encouraged today that no matter what's going on, it's gonna be all right. And no matter what's going on, it's gonna be okay. If you put your hand in his hand, let's read over that. It says, the most high is your shade upon your right hand. Mm. And why is that? Because you put your hand in his hand and he's leading you on down the path, guiding you on down the path. 
as your leader, as your manager, as your keeper. Praise the Most High. Oh, but we thank you for this grand idea that you've given us today. We ask you to let it settle in within our spirits, our ruachs, and let the words of our mouths be acceptable in your sight, for you are our Elohim, our strength, and our redeemer. And we thank you, Abba, that you are what that text say, in you we have our strength. We move and breathe and have our strength in you. And it's all about you, Abba. Just like the text also says, you, not only do you give us the will to do it, but you give us the strength to do it. The will and the strength to do it your calling, to do your bid. And we thank you for that today, Abba. Use us for your glory and your benefit. We thank you for meeting all our needs according to your riches and glory. And it's all these things we pray in Yahushua HaMashiach's name. Amen. Okay, let's stay up. Keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.